I just got the new version of the Wise Cam. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a camera that I've been pretty excited about because I've used Wise products. No affiliation with them. Uh, they don't send me anything for free. I pay for it out of my own pocket. And the reason I have chosen them generally for my home security cameras is because they're cheap and they work well and they're easy to set up. And they're just kind of a camera for the everyman, which is this guy. But they came out with a new version. I think they call it like the 3.0 V3. And it looks pretty similar to their old Wise Cam. I'm going to compare it to my existing Wise Cam here. But they made some distinct improvements. And I want to not only check out the camera, but I also want to check out these new improvements, which, one, it's indoor and outdoor. So now it is waterproof. They actually make an outdoor camera. But if you have a power source near it, you can actually just plug it in, kind of like the old camera, and you don't have to worry about a battery. Their outdoor camera with the battery is great. It can go in places where I don't normally have a power source, but you don't want to run the battery down too quickly. And so this obviously solves that. The other thing that I'm really excited about here, and there's a little picture, is that the night vision on this, they've always had an infrared sensor, but it becomes black and white. And now the outdoor at night image should be in color. I'm not sure how they're doing that. I'm not sure if they're playing with exposure or something like that, but I'm excited to try it and see what that looks like compared to the old one. First of all, we get a USB to micro USB cable, which is kind of the standard power cable that they use. We have some accessories in this little box here. So we get some screws and some drywall anchors if you want to install it. We have a metal plate right here with a double-sided tape base so you can stick this to the wall. I actually use these. I use these on my garage cameras because I don't want to drill them into the wall. I can just stick this up on the wall and then I can use the magnet in the back here just to put these cameras up take them down move them whatever so it's actually really nice we get a power brick right there and then we get the camera right here and again it's kind of similar in size it does have a little bit of a different look uh, maybe even you might call it a little more modern look a little sleeker but otherwise about the same footprint here it's interesting we do have a cord built into it. So the other one, you actually had a micro USB plug right there that you would plug this in. This looks like it has, I don't know, six, seven inch cable and then a sleeve here with a micro USB plug. So I guess what that does is it makes sure that the plug here, if it had one, uh, would be waterproof. So now to do that, they have the sleeve here so that when you plug in the micro USB cable, it's kind of shielded, which is kind of smart. You have a speaker on the outside or on the back here, and that's because you can actually listen to the audio from the camera output, but um, I think the speaker here is so that you can speak through your app. I've done that before. There's a little bit of a lag, you know, but if you are talking to someone who's delivering something or trying to tell someone where in your garage something is, they are pretty helpful, but it's not something that you would really want to have a dialogue about, but you do have the speaker over there. And like I said, it's just kind of more curved on the edges here as opposed to kind of the straighter box of the old one. You can see the camera now is centered right there and it looks like we have the microphone maybe right there and I'm not sure I don't know where the infrared illuminator is you know I think it's right here on the old one but you can see here just a little bit different a little bit more modern and then we have this base and also a little more integrated in there it's kind of cut out on the bottom and it pivots up like that scissors open you can see we have a couple of strips right there and again I think magnetic right so if you want to put this on a table, you've got the silicon strip so it'll stay in place. But you can see how it articulates and that allows you to go up as well as twist it like that so you can aim it. We also have a little slot, it might be a little hard to see, right here for an SD card. So if you want to record directly to the device, especially for longer clips, that's great. You can put a little TF card in there. And then there is a little silicone button right there that says setup. You'll use that in the setup process as well. So I'm going to refer to my startup guide here. I think... This is actually going to be pretty simple. If you use the app to set this up, I think it just walks you right through it. But once I get this set up, then we will compare side by side, you know, the quality of the recordings of the version 3.0 versus the version 2.0. Cool. Let's get on it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is open up my WISE app. I'm going to go up here to the plus sign, add a device. And now I'm going to add the WISE cam right down here. Version 3, plug your WISE cam into a power outlet. So I just did that. And is the red light blinking? It is. So I'm just going to hit next. 
pull the base away from your Wisecam version 3. Okay, so I've already done that as I was just exploring it and press setup under the camera. So I'm gonna hit the button. Ready to connect. All right, I heard ready to connect, so I'll check that. This is my network. And then scan your QR code with the camera. QR code scanned, please wait. So I heard that. You just hold the camera up to the QR code. That's all it takes. Setup completed. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds good. And I'm going to call this my new garage camera. And now... All right, so I have my original Wise Cam set up right here. This may actually be the version 2.0. And it is sitting right next to the version 3.0 cam. And this is what you can expect, one, in terms of audio, but also in terms of video quality. First of all, I will say it does have a pretty wide angle here. So you kind of get a little bit of fisheye, which is great because if you're putting this up in the corner of a room or something like that, you should be able to capture most of that room. But, you know, you have seen me sitting here under these lights many times, and this is kind of the uh, quality, one in resolution, in color temperature, uh, but also in motion that you should expect from this camera. So now let's check out the version 3.0. All right, so this is the version 3.0 camera sitting in exactly the same spot as the other camera. I will say there are a couple things that I seem to notice right out of the gate. First of all, it does seem to have like a wider angle, so I think I'm getting more in the picture for the same position. So if you have uh, wished that the other cameras had a wider angle, more of a fisheye, I think this one actually is going to capture more space, up, down, left, right. It's going to be maybe a better security camera, just more coverage. I will also say the color temperature seems a little bit better to me. It seems a little less red. You know, I would say it's not super accurate as opposed to like a DSLR or a professional grade or even an iPhone camera, but from a color representation standpoint, it just seems to be more accurate. Now, the big question to me is how are the night visions different? So let's get the lights turned off and see what it's like in darkness. All right, so I have turned off all the lights. I do have some light seeping in from the windows, and I also have my iPhone sitting right in front of me, kind of illuminating my face just a smidge, just the, just the smallest little bit, because I want to observe what it's recording here. And I will say that this is kind of standard, you know, early generation night vision. It is an infrared illuminator, so I think this camera has four little tiny infrared LEDs maybe around the camera, so it projects out that light. I would say that in my garage, what that does not do is it does not illuminate a lot of area. So if you are walking up to the camera, maybe you're within three, four feet of it, it does help illuminate that. But, you know, things further out, 10, 15, 20 feet, don't get illuminated really at all. But the most obvious thing about this type of illumination is that it's all in a grayscale. So it kind of like gives you cat eyes and you are just looking at everything in black and white, which is, which is absolutely fine. But let's see if the new night vision on the version 3.0 camera is even better. All right, so Wisecam version 3.0. Again, what I am seeing here is pretty interesting. Like I said, it is pretty dark in here. Uh, a little bit of illumination coming off of my phone right here and a little bit of light seeping in from the other windows. But what it's doing here is really brightening things up. And it's not, I don't know, it's not like just overexposing things. It's, it's really kind of interesting. It, it's just like a really wide aperture to me or something like that. It just seems to be letting in as much light as humanly possible. I don't know if there's any additional illumination going on here or if it's just something with a really big sensor, wide aperture, and then it's doing some correction to really kind of brighten things up. But I'm also kind of curious if I really go pitch black in here, what that'll look like. But I will say, I'm just really impressed with this because not only can I see things in here, but even the areas around me, you know, on the sides here, where it is kind of catching a little bit of the window light are really, really bright. And there's something just kind of richer and more engaging and honestly more helpful with color night vision because now I can see what people are carrying or, you know, identify a person better or just see what kind of animal it is or whatever it is. You know, when it's black and white, it's hard to differentiate a cat from a raccoon. But you can see that if you can see the stripes and the color and those types of things. So color night vision is really, really impressive here. But I am going to go ahead and try to get the shades pulled to go really dark because then I'm really curious if we go pitch black, what that looks like. 
All right, guys, so I have rotated the cameras around. I'm actually going to show you the other side of the room because I'm getting a little light leakage from the windows. But basically what I want to do here is just demonstrate how dark everything is. If I just go ahead and turn on the light next to me for a split second, you can see me now. But this is pretty darn dark. So I want to show you what the Wise Cam is picking up from this position where this camera is sitting right now, what it's picking up with it being this dark. See here, I'm going to turn off the light and just prove to you, man, it's pretty dark. You can see a little bit of the reflection off some of the things behind me, but this is dark, very dark. Don't be scared. All right, this is what the original Wise Cam or maybe the version 2.0 is picking up. Again, grayscale, the infrared illumination is, you know, lighting me up right here. But obviously the things in the back, you know, behind me, 10 feet, 20 feet behind me are not really being picked up by this camera, which is kind of what you'd expect. But this is what you can expect from night vision in very low light conditions from the original Wise Cam. Now let's check out the other one. All right. So this is the other Wise Cam. Again, just a little bit wider angle, just a little bit wider shot here. Now what's interesting to me is that I'm looking at the camera and I can see four infrared illuminators. So what ends up happening, I think, is when it gets to really, really dark conditions, it goes back to kind of that old school black and white infrared illumination. As you can see, as I get closer there, it uh, illuminates my hand better. And it works kind of like the original camera. But I will say, even in this really dark infrared assisted mode, you can see the stuff around me so much better. So much better. I mean, you can see some clarity here. Now, I will say that it seems to be a threshold of a minimal light where it will do color night vision. So what I was doing before with plenty of light leaking through the windows, I think it's going to just kind of do some, you know, uh, adjustments to the image to kind of bring that picture up to more of a daylight quality. But when it really doesn't have any light to assist it, it can't just make an adjustment on what it sees because it can't really see anything. So then once it gets below a certain threshold, it goes back to this infrared assisted night vision, which is great. I think this is a massive improvement. I tell you what, I expected this to be a pretty incremental improvement on the original Wise Cam, which I really liked. But this Wise Cam version 3.0 is a huge step ahead. It just does everything that the old Wise Cam did, but it does it in a so much better way. I tell you what, if you use these things for monitoring pets, monitoring kids, monitoring corners of the house, use them for home security, whatever it is. I think this is the way you want to go. You get such a bigger, broader picture. You get so much more clarity. You get the benefit of color night vision, which just can help you monitor things and make intelligent decisions uh, while streaming over the web or watching on your smartphone or whatever. I just think there's no real trade-off. It's basically the same price as the old camera, maybe just a hair more, but very affordable. It's the same footprint. It's very easy to set up. And man, I am just blown away. This thing is great. So if you want to pick it up, I'm going to put a link to the Wise Cam version 3.0 in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. I just got the new version of the outdoor. I will say there are a couple things that I've noticed right off the top. There are, I will say,